ano po, nakita ko po si Papa, may hawak po na ID, tapos pinapakita niya po doon sa may, ano, sa may police. Tapos habang nakatutok sa ulo niya yung barrel. Sir, kung may kasalanan man po ako o wala, maawa naman po kayo. Huwag niyo na lang po akong patayin kung gusto niyo. Ikulong niyo na lang po ako. Kasi kawawa yung mga anak ko. Naisip ko po, sabi ko, sa dinami-dami po ng tao dyan sa labas po, bakit po yung papa ko pa yung pinili? Saglit-saglit lang po, tapos pinutukan na po siya. Jennifer was only 11 years old when she saw her father being killed during an anti-drug operation by the police. Since 2016, thousands of Filipinos have been killed in President Rodrigo Duterte's so-called war on drugs. Many of these victims live behind families with children. We interviewed dozens of children and parents for this report to find out how the so-called war on drugs is destroying lives in the Philippines. In the absence of adequate government support for these families, members of civil society have stepped up to care for them. One of them is Father Mike Sandaga, a Catholic priest who runs Project Support for Orphans and Widows in Payatas, a slum community in Quezon City where residents have been targeted and killed in the drug war. We have established a sewing center for the left-behind families, especially the mothers who cannot find work. It started as a simple gathering of families, just to voice their, their sentiments, to share their heartaches, and then we support them through giving of rice and some foods for, for the family. Because the one who was killed was uh, the breadwinner of the family. Ang hirap po, kasi hindi mo alam kung paano ka magsimula, kung paano mo bubuhayin yung mga anak mo, at saka kung paano mo sila mapag-aral, at saka sa pang-araw-araw na baon nila, at saka sa pagkain. At saka yung ano, nawalan din kami ng tubig dahil naputulan kami, tapos sa kuryente, marami. Opo, natagil po ako sa pag-aaral dahil po wala na, sumusup wala na pong sumusuporta sa akin. Ano nga, simula po nang namatay yung tatay ko. Yun nga po, inatrabaho ko sa barangay garbage collector po. Yun sa bali po, yung sinasahod ko po na ano, yun po yung nagkakasya ko sa aming magkakapatid para lang po makakain kami sa tatlong araw, tatlong beses sa isang araw. Natutulog po kami sa may marketplace, sa may mga gilid lang po ng stall. Police and police-backed vigilantes are responsible for these drug war killings. The government should provide specific support for these children, including redress, counseling, and other assistance to help them deal with the trauma of losing their loved ones. Yung ano po na trauma po ako. Kasi po, ano po, yung simula po na namatay po si Papa, ano po, parang ayoko na po, hindi na po ako makain. Ano po, minsan po nagdodrawing po ako, tapos minsan naman po nag-ano ako, nagsusulat ako ng kwento. Minsan po nagdodrawing po ako ng pamilya po, tapos po, hindi ko po mabuo-buo. Hindi ko po siya magawa. Sayasip ko po siguro po kasi po ano, parang pong may nawawala sa ano, sa drawing. Parang may kulang. Cool